Hey y'all, thrill of possibility here, and we're doing a real draft of Zendikar Rising. And in this real draft, we end up splashing white. So we learned some interesting things and some principles to apply for splashing, especially in Zendikar Rising. And I've boiled them down to three main tips or tricks. The first one being is that splashing makes your deck inconsistent. There'll be some games where you have to keep sketchy hands or you'll have to mulligan once or even twice. So if you're thinking about splashing, maybe you won't want to splash if your deck is, you know, really focuses on having good starting hands. You don't really, you don't want to risk having a bad opening hand where you don't draw that force so you can't cast any of your green spells. But moving on, splashing isn't all bad, I promise you. Pound for pound, your cards will be more powerful than your opponents. Because during the draft section, you'll be picking the best card out of three colors, while your opponent most likely is choosing the best card out of two colors. This means on average, when games go long and you start doing top decking, you will usually win more since your cards are more powerful. Your two drops are gonna be better than your opponent's two drops since you're having two drops of three colors. The principle applies to three, four, five, and six drops as well. You're choosing the best of three colors while your opponent's choosing the best of two colors. You'll get it. You'll understand. Moving on, the final point, point number three, is that you need to pick up splash enablers earlier in the draft. Stuff like Reclaim the Waste is highly valuable if you're in green. It allows you to play these three or, heaven forbid, four color decks, allowing a great way to search these basics out of your deck and put them into your hand. It's honestly a fantastic card that you need to value highly. It's one of the best green commons in the entire set. Grabbing two lands for four mana is incredible because it thins your deck like a champ. So in summary, if your deck is aggressive, don't splash because you'll want to have that consistent, nice opening start where you go one drop, two drop, three drop, combat trick, removal spell, and your opponent's dead. But if your deck's more, you know, controlling and wants to go the long game, you'll definitely want to splash as it increases your card's power level pound for pound better than your opponent's. Anyways, let's get right into the draft and see these principles worked out. Hey y'all, throw a possibility here. I got a special episode. We're doing a premiere draft of Zendikar Rising. All right, let's see if we can get it. I'm probably gonna edit this video a bunch. <laughs> oh, I did not just say that. All right, this uh, gameplay. Show phases. I could disable emotes. Cycle chat. Full control. And we're in. All right. Maddening Cacophony is a mill card, however, I don't believe it's going to be that good. You see, Royal Eruption, and I think we're just going to pick Royal Eruption, send the pack. Cards to look out for, Reclaim the Wastes and Brushfire. Um, yeah, Grotag Night Runner, but I love me some Royal Eruption. It's like, just an amazing card, I have it in that nice foil thingy. I wish they do this with the real cards, honestly. Have this kind of art style where it's all, oh. The extended art. I wish they'd do it for all cards. All right. So I think a person to the right might have gotten the illustrious blue enchantment. You know what I'm talking about. So I think we're not going to be able to see kicker cards come our way. We have a few options, myriad construct, form in a 4-4. It gets split. It's a fine card. Stay on our colors. We have Grotag Bug Catcher. Fine. I mean relic axe might come. Expedition champion. Sneaking guy. Tazim. I don't want to pick Tazim Royal Mage. I kinda of want Tangled Floor. Let's just pick the construct. It makes it in every deck. Ooh, this is also, I think green is going to be open for us. 
Spring Mantle Cleric allows us to play Splishy Splashy Green. Hopefully we wield the uh, Reclaim. We want to play a little bit more safe Stonework. Let's stake our claim into green. Start going, oh, red is wide open. Who's not picking royal eruptions? White? There's a lot of good white cards. Oh, maybe red, white is open. Red, white, white, blue. Ravager's Mace. Really gonna be red, black party? Uh, let's go canopy. Oh, but I don't like landfall. Hmm, we have a tough choice. The canopy Bela. Phyla Bela. We can do that. Really go for this red green landfall y stuff. Or we can pick a Ravenger's Mace and be party. Uh, this pack is kind of. Uh, pick Ravenger's Mace as the highest upside. I'm not sure we'll be in. Okay, that should be not be wheeling if the person for a right is in. The kicker deck? Let's pick Zoff Consumption. It's going to make the deck if we play black. I don't want to go into blue this late. Okay, Dauntless Unity. This isn't our pack that we got to wield. Demon's Disciple is fine. Best card in the pack. I mean, Kazandu Nectopot allows it to be controlling. Do we want to be controlling? Maybe. Okay, and here he's binding Pack Beast. So we'll pick the Pack Beast. This is interesting. Okay, reclaim the waste. So let's be a uh, base green splash stuff. Alright, that's awesome. Super pumped about taking the reclaim. Uh, grow tag. Hmm. I want Grotag or this is Zendikon. Let's pick Grotag here. Maybe Zendikon was the right choice. But with claim, we can splash black for Ravenger's Mace and be green red party with splashing of black. We need to get rid of the Nectar Pot. One, two. Uh, let's see, what do we want? We'll reveal the top five, put a creature. They are all in Hive Mind's possession. Uh, Cliff Haven. Tormenting. We should be going pretty quick here. Pack two, pick one. Our second Royal Eruption? Can you have too many royal eruptions? No, oh, but if we can splash. Nah. Let's pick up royal eruption here. Uh, I'm becoming less and less keen on our Avengers Mace. We are just the royal eruption deck, it seems like. Noob Jace. Uh, Columbo 55. Alright. Ooh! So some tough choices here. <sighs> A 1-2 Flying Haste. A sweet artwork. Can't let that synchronize Spellcraft to pick off some of the higher toughness guys. Maybe. Roiling Vortex. Deals damage. Deals one damage. Goma Fade Vanguard. Thundering Spark Mage. Oh, so many options. Some pink something for... Green Red Wizards is an actual deck. Keep that in mind. Okay, we are definitely picking Inscription of Abundance. Fantastic card. We're wide open in our lane. Grotag, fine. Veteran Adventurer. We can go Green Red Party. 
Uh, I'm not high on the regrowth. I don't want to ramp one. Um, not too many. Oh, plus one, plus one, equip two. Uh, snare caster. Expedition champ. Sneaking guy. Dauntless survivor. It's a dauntless survivor. It's a two mana two two. At its worst. Inordinate rage. Seems like a solid pick here. And... So I think our game plan, we can definitely splash with the Reclaim. What to splash? We're gonna pick Song Mad Treachery. We're definitely open in green and red. I only see some Draga Visionaries come my way. And now I saw, I know I saw one in my pack. So this next one, this one right here, one right here is gonna have a Draga, should have a Draga Visionary in it. I have the two drop slot, absolutely. Okay, maybe not. Oh, uh, Relic Axe, I guess. Broken Wings, I want a Molt, no. I want a Broken Wings instead. I already have, this is, this is, I want my Draga Visionaries, but they're not coming to me. I need some, need, need to pick some high end coming up here in this, uh, this, uh, draft. I mean, this next pack, not draft, squad commander, splash white for that. I have one source already. Is it better than Shatter Skull, a 5-4 with haste? This, uh... Yeah, I think we'll splash some white. Uh, okay, so if we're splashing white, I don't have any reasons to be wizards anyways. Uh, go with a vanguard? I want something other than a two drop. I need three drops. Alas, I did not have the three drops. Pick a Fissure Wizard. I want something that I can get rid of a useless two drop when I need. I already have. I should have picked something else. I already have Tormenting Voice. Uh, Spring Mantle Cleric. Five five Vigilance. I want to see some white cards come my way. Some good ones. That's not really a good white card. Kazim Raptor. Skyclave Geopede? I mean, it's what I want. Yeah, I guess. I, don't know. I have three Royal Eruptions. That's all I know about this draft. So I like to pick Royal Eruption. Oh, I want to see... Holy moly, how long? Morasa Root Grazer? I want the Visionary. I want it badly. Do I have any reason to be... Yeah, I want that. I don't have any landfall payoffs, and I want party stuff. Another one? Or Prowling Felidar? Oh, tough choice. Let's go Visionary here. Maybe we just... Uh, okay. Don't really want any of those. Pick a Strength of Solidarity. Just to... Pick something, I guess. I don't want. I don't want. Pick a cunning guy to mage. Fearless fledgling this late. Okay, that's a win condition for sure. I wasn't gonna. I'm not gonna have more than two adventurer weights in my deck. Let's pick a cunning guy to mage. What uncommon would he have drafted over the myriad construct? I, I really don't. Uh, what claim? Allows me to get more... More stuffs. And things. Take a cleric. I need clerics. Broken wing number... Spitfire Legac? I need... Canopy Bailoff. That's some visionaries. 
Hmm. Broken wings. I think I want another one of those. Let's start the cutting. Fearless. Uh, oh, Prowling Felidar, sweet. So I'm, I am absolutely lacking in the three drops. Um, but that's okay, that's okay. Uh, cut that. Cut that. Cut a Baylaw. Uh, 17. Cut it down to 2. Um, let's change this sleeve. I want this sleeve. Let's make that default. All right, two reclaim. Cut the strength. I like inordinate rage. Grow tag. Adventure awaits. Down to one. Dauntless. That's a five drop. Well, I saw that one of the three drops. Skyclave. GOP. Broken wings. Snare caster. The gank. Cut Legak. Really want to cut the Felidar, but I can't. Uh, I need Rogues. Do I have any Rouge? Do I have any Rouges? That's a, that's a Rouge. A Rouge. That's a Rouge. I got enough. Oh, yeah, I have one of those, so I can cut. A, 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 yeah, I don't have any double green except for inscription it should definitely be a spring mantle gonna be a uh oh i should have picked up the flying equipment that would be huge for this deck oh well is there a goal oh let's put that guy back in goal is to land some just to mess up our opponents or well, green red party splash white Naya. One of the worst colors in the format. Although we have Plenteous of the Lemuva. We're going against Yam B. Rakdos versus Zorius, or Mono Blue, whatever. Uh, that on two? Hmm. Um. You may reveal a creature so it can just cycle itself. Hello, Mr. Guy. Uh, yeah, I guess we can hit a three. Oh. So we're gonna play Snarecaster on three. This. We'll go down to being four in a green. You can just play Squad Commander. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. If we draw a Mountain, we can even go Sneer Caster, blow up something of two toughness or greater. Oh, that changes them? That's sweet. Um, yes, let's do that. Which, which mode do I like more? Oh, not that mode. What? Can't change them back? Uh-oh. Not squad commander. It's gonna choose that one? Poor choice. Veteran adventurer? Okay, he chose veteran adventurer. Um... This produces one once for each creature. Roge. I can get three of them. This could be my cleric. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have a full party with whatever he plays next is gonna get destroyed. Unless he has a kill spell of some sort. His clear water. Play a creature, I dare you. I, I dare you. You're, it's gonna get dealt four damage. He's in a real tough spot. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, I'm just gonna blow that up. I don't know what those could be, but I don't think a combat trick saves them here. Alright. Alright, sweet. So we only get we only get three one ones. Do I even do I just want to blow that up? If I blow it up, I push four, five, seven. Move to combat first and swing with grow tag. There we go. Awesome. Still get my three guys. There we go. Got my wizard, so I'll pump the team and then swing with indestructible guys. This, wow, this deck is actually pretty decent. Yikes. Two. Alright, so six, eight, nine. Yeah, he's dead, pretty much. Even if he has a blocker. Ah, maybe not. Player visionary. Oh, he won't have. I need a cleric, and that's not a cleric. Okay, that's five. Uh, okay. Hmm. What is he going to do here? What is he going to do here? I think he's dead. One, two, he has two. Okay. Sweet. Got our first win against Yam B. We're climbing out of gold. It's like, about to get to diamond, and I'm like, ah, it's using reset. It's like, really? You're gonna do that to me? Yeah. Well, we're one and no. Happy about that. I guess the moral of the story here. Moral of the story about drafting is just uh, be creative you know sometimes you're not going to draft a signpost uncommon ish deck you have to be okay with it you're just gonna you're gonna have to improvise you know and really delve your brain for the delve improvise fun stuff uh solid hand right here Sneercaster, I... Alright, we're gonna... We are going to kick... Grotag. I mean, we're gonna kick Reclaim. Okay. We're gonna do that next turn. I mean, we're gonna Royal Eruption... The Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Oh, okay, good, it was. I'm gonna put it on himself, okay. No blocks. It's gonna be like... And blow you up. We have a blocker on board. Let's play white. It's gonna be Tuck tuck. Wow. Neato. Hmm. We're gonna play Snare Caster. We're gonna one, two equals three. Uh, no blocks.
We just block with Core Celebrant. That's haste, though. We have a blocker. One, two, three. Blow up Prowling Felidar. I like that. I like that a lot. Bye bye. And then that becomes big enough where it will actually get something done. Who shall you put in? Ah, no one. All right. Maybe I should have played a land there. But yeah, that was. I should have played a land. I'm not hitting. All right. What? I can't change his. More life. Fun. Ooh, I should put it on there. It's a warrior. Already have a warrior. So we're gonna play that. A big five-five vigilance. And pass the turn. He has three, and I have three. He's drawn only four lands, so he's most likely going to draw some more. Okay, he's going to draw a big old 7-5. Fun stuff. And it has haste. Well, big guy for a big guy. Gonna kick it. Gonna get a plains. We're gonna get a mountain and a mountain. We're gonna play one of them. And let's put it on the one four. No attacks. My two five shall block all. Shall block all. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Well, that should be all my lands I'll ever get. Oh. Okay. Gonna attack. Gonna attack. Gonna attack. Yeah. Yay! We're gonna play L Visionary. Draw us a card. Stonework Pack Beast. We're gonna play that Pack Beast. And you're gonna be happy about it. No attacks. You can block any. You can block that. We're now in a steering contest. You bet your bottom dollar I'm staring at him right now. We're just drawing nothing but gas. Ain't that right? Well, we're gonna swing in with that. Trade off what? Ardent Electromancer? Give me that. Let it resolve. Move the combat. I don't know if I only had that flying equipment. It's gonna let me get in for five? That'd be that'd be sweet, that'd be awesome. Okay. Gonna play Fissure Wizard. I will take some of that action. Ah. You can get rid of Seagate Banner at next turn. Or I can get rid of it this turn. Let's wait to see if you play something that big. I have a blocker for that. And... Blow you up. Bye-bye. 
You're a pump team? Yeah, I bet you are. That's why we're gonna uh, pass the turn. Plays any more silly Seagate Colossi. We go uh, Broken Wings. We're at 15, he's at 21. Whew! That's a spicy. That is. Please get. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's some. That's some awesome sauce right there. Uh, Rogue Warrior, Wizard, whatever. So we have a full party. That'll be a five. Sends in the core blade master. Pack piece. Or ardent electromancer. Am I willing to make that trade? I say yes I am. I mean Okay. Get rid of a 3-2, that's good. And the turn. Gonna pass the turn. Uh, I send in Drago Visionary. If I blow up Core Blade Master, I can really start sending in the guys. The L boys. I mean, he just blocks here and blocks here. Okay, well, he does that. Alright. How many of the Royal Weapons have I drawn? Two? Oh, I've drawn all of them. Okay. We're on a 17 turn clock here. Hmm. Uh. No attacks, well, a stalemate. I gotta get that dude, gotta get the guy. The r white rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, visionary, sweet. We shall say, I draw the card. Yes, yes, yes. Draw me that card. Hey! Well, our board's uh, ginormous. You shall let it resolve. Boom! I get four of them. Warrior, wizard, rogue, cleric. He says, Grr, no thank you. I am King Dragoon. You cannot gain life. Oh, really? Are you sure? Dude, let's go to combat. Come on. I you literally have nothing to do. <laughs> we swing out onto the uh, beginning of my combat? Yes, my combat. He's like, hmm, how do I block this? He's taking nine. Shall play all of our land. Thirteen. Oh no. We shall concede. Concede to my massive army. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, let's give him a good game. 
Oh, maybe we can not even. Oh. Rage? Sad? Yeah. That's not emote here. A little bit of an overkill, don't you think? Well, that's how you win long games. Draga Visionary is a solid card for the late game matchups. Just love this deck once. Late game is fine and dandy. It's fine and dandy. And dandy. Not just fine. Fine and dandy. Dandy. Well, we've drawn our white rare that we splashed for each game of the two games we played. We've also drawn Snarecaster. I think Snarecaster is a solid point against a silver guy. Wow. El Silverino. It's just straight up keepable. Oh, they have a cute little. Liger. I got Skyclave curving out into an inordinate rage. It's gonna be so much damage, it's not even funny. Next turn, planes. GOP, turn after that. That's just a an anthem. It's on your turn. Alright. Yeah, sweet. Oh, let's. Playing green there might give him the wrong. Might give him the wrong impression. Might say, ooh, it's a landfall deck. Gotta, you know. Wow, they're huge. Gonna get in for some damage? Wow, utility knife as well. Excellent try. I'm not gonna block that. Wow, you're doing a lot of damage there, buddy. Uh can do anything? Get him for five, awesome. A land We need a Felidar. I can afford to take some damage here. It's not a whole lot. Well it's gonna be four, three, seven in total. Go down to nine. That's if they don't. If that's a, that's if they have a land. They move to combat. That'd be kind of silly to play that before. Nope. Okay. Let's play a land here. Bada boom. Whew. A double block from Jerboa with Utility and Scorch Rider takes out Prowling Felidar if I inordinate Rage it, that is. I mean, Royal Eruption. Let's just destroy the Scorch Rider here. And swing in. Not gonna do anything? That's what, eight? Yeah, I'm fine with eight. Uh. Snarecaster. Let's keep Fearless Fledgling in the. As. Oh, I was. Not the front. Okay. That's not gonna save you. If I get a land, it's going to be huge. Yeah, no blocks. All I gotta do... oh. No land. Interesting. For... All 
Alright, let's think. He blocks here. It's gonna be three. So I need the extra damage. Go to blockers. How are you gonna block? How you gonna block, son? I'm gonna go like a little bit of that. And that should say game set match. Okay. Where do I want that? Oh, I have to look at. Um. Two, five. Oh, yeah, I'll put him at one. I can trigger that, so I think I do want it. So I can go, I can go overhead on him. Yeah. yeah. There are a few options here. He has to remove my potential flyer. And if he does do that, he has to play an additional blocker. A non-artifactor. Okay. Huh. Play that. Landfall. Alright, game. Alright, sweet. I even had the broken wings up, so if you did attach the equipment, which would have. No, I would have died anyways. Uh, Zenith Flare. Talk about ruining a limited environment, it's Zenith Flare. Everyone say hip hip hooray to Zenith Flare. Hip hip hooray! Silver Manon. Is that the guy in my draft? Ah, eh, who knows? Who cares? Fissure, Grotag, love it. Love it. We're gonna draw that. Oh, this hand is not looking good at all. I think this, I think this game might be a L. L for loss. I don't have a green. Okay. We can worry about that later. I think we learned a lot about this. Oh! No blocks. I'm gonna discard a stupid Spring Mantle Cleric. Actually, broken wings. Near the land. We have blockers for all of these guys. Is he white black party? White black something. White black mall of the skyclades. Attack with that. Attack! Puny. Alright. Now that doesn't have a target. Woohoo! We did it. We drew a forest. Alright. Let me turn. Description of abundance. We'll use it if we have to. Alright. Why do we need to use it? If we, there's no black direct damage spell. Haha, uh -huh, you can't equip it. Chomp. Gonna block? Yeah, I feel like getting rid of that as soon as possible. And then turn. Literally say, I don't need artifact removal, and my opponent says, the most busted artifact equipment in the entire set. Yeah. Oh, no! Gosh. Should've gotten... 
Well, well, this will allow us to play something big. Auto pay. Get a load of my five six. It's a big old five six. That four mana equipment. That really should have been bumped up to mythic. I hate. I hate it so much. I hate white and black so much. It's gonna be six in total. Fun. Fun stuff. Uh, get that guy. Oh yeah, we have one Boris. Well, this game's good. We're gonna. I hate that equipment so much. <laughs> oh, should have been a myth. Lily just said, "Oh, my one answer. Bye bye." Uh huh. Another one of these. Excuse me. I want four. Cleric warrior. I just need to play stuff. Just let me play stuff. Mm, let me play stuff. Need a wizard. Pack beat. No, I, put, I put pack beats on the bottom. I need a, w a wizard. And then I can have a full party and kind of steal the game. That would be three, four, six, eight. Drop him to ten. He'd have me at... No, it still wouldn't be enough. I would need... Yeah, he's got me. Oh, I can chump block with the snare caster. And a 1-1 one, one for whatever two creatures he can play. Three creatures? Huh, interesting. Uh, pass the turn. He can't. He has six, so he cannot equip us twice. One, two. I'll be at one. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I forgot about that. All right. Oh well. No, well, you win some, you lose to overpowered, rare equipment. No, I hate that so much. I hate that I even had broken wings. It could have been like, oh, that's a nice try. I was like. He won't have broken wings. He's white black. White black only has a pro campula. And he was like, uh, what did you just say to me? Relic amulet, my Elspeth. Relic amulet, my Elspeth. That's what he said to me. I was disgraced, honestly. El Grazer of the Roots. Let's get rid of veteran. Let's get rid of four four. Already have. That's gonna be four mana. I don't want that. I want. I want. I want land. Give me El Lando. Ooh, he's not playing something. Ooh, he says ramp. It says canopy. Okay. Um, let's say, so tough. Yeah, we're just going to Royal Eruption that. Say a uh, bye bye to that. Yep. Not worth building the board for six damage. Put me at 12. This is going to be a long, grindy game here. Because next time we're going to draw a land where we can Dawn with Survivor and a Royal Eruption if we need to. Alright, uh... Or we could just say... I gotta build the board here. 
Make sure that I can't attack. You cool with that? You don't have any instant speed bites? Make sure that can't attack us now. We'll deal with the land situation later. Oh, awesome. Yep, we should. Um, well, we should have definitely dealt with the fearless fledgling situation at the uh, right now. I'm gonna say no thank you to that. I hate how I'm losing these games here. Where are my lands? I, I need something. I can't even play that because I don't have the the planes. Awesome. I'm gonna pass the turn here. With or inordinate rage, we're gonna get it done. Get it done with the rage. Inordinate rage. Now that's a 4-4. Four, four. I'm pretty much hopelessly. I literally need a broken wings off the top. And then some. I'm gonna go inordinate rage here. Awesome! To absolutely two infuri infuriating ways to lose the game. It's right there. We're gonna go three and three? Is that what we're doing? Three and three. Okay. My deck said. My opponent said, Busted Rare! And then my deck said, No playing magic for you. Well, this is what I get for running less than however many lanes. Cole versus Big Tap. If I had to explain why I mulligan there, I'm gonna like shoot somebody. I'll get rid of uh, Donald's. All Dauntless does is just does. That's what it does. It does. Play El Pack Bisto. Draw a light card. We can. Oh, well, I don't want that. I'll play that, and we'll say no blocks. And did I do something? Because nah, I just play Vine Deco. I mean, that's cool. I'm gonna say blow up that Vine Gecko. Skeet up the boom! And... Looks like we're winning. Win. All I do is win. Win, win, no matter what. Just... Apparently everyone in my household is opening the front door. <clears throat> Looks like our opponent's stuck on three lands. Oh. Meow is right. 
Enjoy a 5 5 Vigilance. Add nothing that's 6 mana. So I'll just hold on to these two lanes and bluff like I have a spell. Or two. Old Cole. I have a. If one of these wasn't a wizard, I'd have a full party. Firefly Vigilance. Never. Yeah, I gotta blow that up as soon as possible. Ooh, an inordinate rage would be sweet as well. Ooh, he has it all! Alright, uh, let's play our planes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, but thanks. Um, you can double block. Here doesn't horn beetle and moss pit skeleton. I'll just cast this. I've not seen Roy not Roy. Looking for that double green. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Gonna do something with that? I'm gonna have a little combat trick or something? Now he's gonna pick off one of my my pack piece with that plus one plus one counter, minus one, whatever. Yep. Speaking with myriad construct blocks like that. So draw a card. Speaking with those, he has to block with the three threes, get rid of the shadow cat. And then he just goes boom, boom. Trade off. Yeah, I'm more than fine with that, honestly. Might not even block here, might just take it. At least we get rid of a. Now it's gonna help him grow. It's the end of your turn. At least we can be use it now instead of later. Now and later. So you can pretty much loop this, I think? No, wait, alright. So. Sacrifice this, goes to the graveyard, he goes, um, draw a card, you can put it on top, you just loop that, forever, and get an infinitely big shadow cat, and you get a bunch of 1-1, one -one. he has a, this is an absolute schmacker, it's a board state. Block there. He has another subtle strike. Oh, you get destroyed by it. Alright, come on, dude. You look Rakdos enough. He's gonna sacrifice it? That'd be pretty, uh. balling. Should have, should have stinking double blocked with. Holy cow! What a beating! Nice, dude. Nice. Nice. One, two, three. Don't have enough. I'll pass the turn here. I 
those inscriptions are deadly. Deadly. And we go three and three. Scythe cat, that's fine. It's not as big as a threat as you think it is. It's gonna sack that to draw a card, aren't you? That on top. Pass the turn. That gets another 1 1 plant. Yeah, dude, he is. Uh, he's living the dream. Talk about a combo. You draft all of these uncommons. And you get a combo. It comes together all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it in there. No, that doesn't help me at all. Won't help me no more. <laughs> Huh. What does he have? Huh. Huh. Sweet. Sweetness. Come on in. Um, blow that up. Get rid of the engine, one piece at a time. Holy cow! Yeah, trigger that. Sweetness. Oh, I'm dead, whatever. Good game. Crying Hedron. Well, I'm kind of sad that we lost with uh, all the Skyclaves. Almost like that shouldn't be in a limited set. What do I know? What do I know? Well, at least we'll have some fun packs up, and that makes me feel better. Makes me feel better. Oh. So we're some Eldraine. What do we get in good old the land of Eldraine? Love Shark Beast. We got a common wild card. Rose Thorn, Halberd, Gadwick, solid. Oh, and that's 16-16. Archon of Absolution, Castle Artemis. Moving on to Theros. We get some of the Titans, two of the Titans, they're the, the good. Temple of Enlightenment, it's nice to have the temples. They're pretty much gonna be in every standard format, I think, here on out. I mean, it looks, it's sad, it's like, oh, you got the temples, but. Like, it's gonna save me the rare wild cards from drafting. Ooh, Seven Storm. What do we get in this one? Thassa. Some Ikoria packs. Ikoria was a fun set to draft. If it wasn't for all the stinking cycling. Offsprings Revenge. Oh, yeah, run that in my commander deck. Let's see. Keep safe. Eerie Ultimatum. Ultimatum. I really wish we had a format with ultimatums in it. Take out the red white cycling deck. Congola. Togola. Now we're going to M21. Phase Dolphin. Solid. Core. 20. 21. Ah, Tomatum. Roman Ghost Light. Ah. Angelic Ascension. Temple. Fine with temples, dude. More than walking corpse. Who doesn't love good old vanilla 2 2 for 2? Nah, Rana Heart of Kel. Great commander. Cultivate, happy to see. Pack leader. Excellent. Let's see what this fourth one brings us. Any mythics? Mythic? Hellkite Punisher. 7 mana 6 6 flyer. A Temple of Triumph. Just happy to get him. Just happy to get him, you know? Garrigan Intimidator. Garrigan Intimidator. Some lands. We got a bunch of rare lands. Saves me from crafting them, I guess. 
Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, and I know you did, tell me what you think. I don't know what the main theme. I, re you know, I record the gameplay, and then I do the where I film myself in front of the camera. I do that after. I can't do it before. I think it's making something out of a lot of nothing. There's a lot of nothing in that draft. Hmm. 4 4 4 Myriad Construct. I got a re like That's not a good card. I think. Not anymore. I think I've played with it enough. Where I would honestly take a, you know, taking some okay and common or good common card is honestly better. What? It's resistant to removal because it creates a bunch of 1 1s. So it can't eat a. You can't even power it up with the combat kit. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, and I know you did, tell me what you think of. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comment section below. I'll read every single comment. It means a lot. Leave a comment, like, or subscribe. So anyway, we feel the possibility. Have a great day.